Hang on, little buddy. I know the snow is fascinating, but let's get by this weekend. Then you can play with all the snow you want. Mountain View versus Bighorn in the 2A state championship game. First quarter, Mountain View wearing the purple and black. They went for it on fourth and one at the Bighorn 46. Austin Housekeeper will get the first down to keep the opening drive alive, and his team took their time. On the next play, the junior would put his arm to good use. He sees a target downfield, and it's Caleb Flake with the reception, and he took a decent shot as well. He had six receptions for 106 yards, and that was a 17-yard pickup to the 29. Moving on, this was an 18-play, 80-yard drive that took more than 10 minutes to complete. Housekeeper would sneak his way in on the last yard. Two-point try, no good. Buffalo's lead 6-0. That lead lasted all of 12 seconds because once the opposition finally got their hands on the ball, there was very little that could stop them. On the ensuing kickoff, Christian Mayer fields the ball at the 24, finds a hole, slips two tackles, and he is off to the races. 74 yards, and the junior was just getting started. You are going to see a lot from him in these highlights. Rams go up by a score of seven to six. Now his team would like to have an actual offensive play. Connor McCafferty has a pretty good arm himself. Over the middle to Seth Kite who is open and he has no trouble scoring from 28 yards out. Two scores in less than two minutes for Bighorn who was up 14 to six after the first 12 minutes. Second quarter, they wanted more and so did McCafferty. Option keeper and he's got room to run. Good blocking and he tried to hit the brakes in order to elude two tacklers. No such luck there, but he did pick up 41 yards on the run, down to the Mountain View 15, and the Rams were knocking on the door again. About two plays later, they would strike again. McCafferty screens to Mayer, nice block, slips one tackle and scores from 11 yards out. For the game, McCafferty was eight of nine passing for 147 yards. PAT no good, now the score is 20 to six. Now would not be a bad time for some defense. Coulter Carzoli comes in on the corner blitz. A blocker picked him up, but he was not going to be denied his sack lunch. A 12-yard loss on the play, and I think you can tell which team is firing on all cylinders so far. Now Bighorn has the ball again, and they were showing why they have the number one offense in the state, Class 2A. Kite takes the screen from McCafferty. He was not seen much on the far side of the field, but he saw plenty on the other side. This was a 57-yard gain down to the Buffalo 17-yard line. He had 94 yards receiving, and business was booming once again. Less than 30 seconds remaining until the break, and that was enough time. McCafferty needs 15 yards, and Ryan Cobaelas will give his quarterback what he needs. Ever since they gave up that opening score, it has been all Rams since. They were up 27-6 going into the locker room. Third quarter, Mountain View tried to get back into it. They recovered the onside kick on the kickoff, but on fourth and five from the 11, Housekeeper is not getting anything. Carzoli got to him first. Caleb Rosalot and Chris Johnson came in with the assist, and it's a turnover on downs inside the red zone. The Buffaloes would get the ball back and give it another try, but this play was a disaster for them. Housekeeper saw receiver open. However, Mayer was able to step in front of the pass and pick it off and things only got better for him once he reversed course. All he needs now is one very important block. He got it, and he is gone. A 90-yard pick six. These two teams had never played each other before this game, and it was one that Bighorn would remember, now leading 34-6. to six. And just when you did not think it could get worse for the Buffaloes, well, Housekeeper was the nail on this play, and he just got hammered. Courtesy of Devin Eibach, a Ram with a full head of steam. The D had three sacks in the game and they were big. But the drive would stay alive. Housekeeper was 12 of 23 for 180 yards. This would be a 28 yard gain to Levi Harmon on fourth and 12. Mountain View was four of six on fourth down conversions, but they were still in a 34 to six hole going into the final 12 minutes. Fourth quarter, first play, Housekeeper would call his own number and finish the job himself. Two yards, six points, and a two-point conversion. Now the score is 34 to 14. Meanwhile, Bighorn went back to work and it was business as usual. Carzoli will make a few tacklers miss and he'll pick up some yardage on the near sideline. 36 yards down to the nine. Team-wise, they had 221 yards on the ground 
averaging 7.8 yards per carry. That's really good. Next play, McCafferty, screen pass to Mayer, who will take care of the rest himself. That's touchdown number four for both, and the latter is not finished yet. PAT no good, and the scoreboard reads 40 to 14. Essentially, this game is over, but credit to the Buffaloes, they did not quit. Housekeeper completes a pass to Flake. Both of them are juniors, so they'll be back next year. Flake is gonna make a lot of something out of nothing. A 58-yard gain down to the enemy 22-yard line, and the boys in black still had some fight in them despite the score. They did have to finish the job on this drive because they wanted to make the score a little more respectable. Cade Covington takes the option pitch and gets around the line for a 10-yard touchdown, plus two, and that would make this a 40-22 contest. As for Mayer, I said he was not finished. He had one more trick, and this was a beauty. On the reverse, he'll run into some congestion on the far side, but watch. His knee never hit the ground. He found a way to stay up. He'll spring himself for 50 more yards, and touchdown number five, it's definitely over now. It was a year of parity in Class 2A, and confusion reigned, and upsets were made in the postseason, but when the dust settled, it was Bighorn, who would emerge with their first state championship since 2004. Final score, 47 to 22. The Rams would finish the season with a record of 10 and one.